Hmm. Remember back in the day when grass thatched housing was predominant in African villages? Well, the trend may be cropping back, this time not in the villages, but in modern day cities. In Rwanda, technology is being used to make modern day grass houses, but with an extra touch of comfort. KTN's Timothy Otieno reports on the country's vibrant but unique real estate. Rwanda, known as the land of a thousand hills, is a country endowed with natural beauty. And in the capital, Kigali, that beauty is slowly being rivaled by the architectural works of art with a skyline of building and modern structures mushrooming from the heart of the city. The real estate industry in Kigali is one that is vibrant and perhaps no one understands this better than a group determined to make a long-lasting mark in the housing sector of the country. Strotec building solutions are coming up with housing units made of straw. Yes, that waste product often left out in farms once rice or wheat has been harvested is now being transformed into modern-day housing units. We produce um, uh, high, high, high tensile panels that are one meter, 1.2 meters wide, and the height varies from, from whichever, it, it depends on the client's needs, but uh, that's basically what we do, and they are produced out of uh, an agro uh, product called straw, straw, that is produced from either wheat or rice straw. One production line delivers enough panels to build 2,000 dwelling units of about 50 square meters each year. We deal locally with, uh, with the farmers uh, that, that, that we mobilize and they have to make sure that they, they store the wheat according to our, our requirements so that we deal with the humidity, we deal with the uh, moisture, we deal with termites, all that so that they can uh, protect it to, to our specific standards. The city of Kigali covers about 731 square kilometers, but only occupies a hundred of that, half of which are under infrastructural development, while the other half corresponds to high gradient slopes and wetlands. And with a current population of about 1.2 million people in Kigali and an annual population growth of 5.7%, the country's Ministry of Infrastructure is well aware of the need to provide affordable housing units for its ever-growing population. Yeah, that's nice. That's a good David Nyonsenga, the country's head of urban planning, tells me that for them, partnering with the private sector is vital to making more of such simple housing units. The cabinet have been uh, recently adopted the investment law, which promotes some incentive for the developer who are willing to invest in an affordable uh, housing uh, sector. So one of the incentives is just the holiday of 50% uh, wave of the corp uh, corporate uh, income tax for the developer. Investors in the industry such as Strotec welcome the move and hope that straw made houses will catapult Rwanda to the forefront in Africa for construction using locally manufactured sustainable green building solutions. It's a green material. We use recycled, uh, recycled uh, agro, uh, agro processed products. So meaning that we are not, we are not, uh, we, we are not consuming a lot from, uh, we're actually giving back because we don't utilize what, what is coming so much from the ground. The housing units take just four weeks to construct and once rolled out throughout the entire country will save homeowners up to 5% of construction costs. Sounds fair? Well, if you are in Kigali, then maybe this could be your next humble abode made purely of wheat straw. The city of Kigali hosts more than half of the entire country's urban population and the government here is on an ambitious plan of constructing cheap and affordable housing units by the year 2020 in order to accommodate the increasing number of people moving from rural centers to urban areas such as this one. Timothy Otieno, KTN News, Kigali, Rwanda.